Glad to have you back. They are seen at most bus stops and pedestrian bridges begging for arms. They are physically challenged and visually impaired, who oftentimes resign to fate, believing all hope is lost. Now, in this special report, TVC News' Karimo Salami tells us about a visually impaired laundry man who says being blind is not the end of the world. Unemployment rate is on the rise in Nigeria. That should not surprise anyone. The economy has not been really healthy. Many are unemployable, and those employable can rarely find a job. Things are a lot worse for the physically challenged. We need one form of assistance to survive. But Anyete Akman, a 42-year-old visually impaired man, has refused to be defeated by adversity. Guess what? He is a laundryman. Like many others, this man who is of the economic stock in Akwaibom State came to Lagos in search of greener pastures and suddenly developed a strange eye infection in 1996, which later claimed one of his eyes. When this thing happened, that very day I was uh, going out to meet one of my friends at Omole. So coming back, I wanted to enter my street. I started having some pains on my eyes. So from then, uh, uh, the thing started uh, reducing. I couldn't see very well. From then, they took me to the village. No, I, started, I went to the hospital here yeah, in, in Lagos yeah, before then my senior brother and led me to the village then for for some treatment so since then i couldn't see very well again as he battled to find a solution to the nagging eye problem the second eye too yielded to the infection and he became completely blind i was drawn to him when i lost my way around okera ogba in the ikeja area of lagos after speaking to him I discovered that something was strange about his look. I moved closer to him and discovered one of the most uncommon things. He was visually impaired, yet rendering a service some people find difficult doing, even when they have privilege to have both eyes functioning. Though I was using this very one to see this side, not very well, but this side, I wasn't seeing with it again. Before then, I was... Uh, uh, selling newspaper as a vendor. The, then uh, when I returned back, I couldn't see with the eye very well. And then I stopped uh, what I was doing. I then started doing this uh, laundry work. Even before then, I've learned this laundry work before the incident. And yet, he says he took to this vocation because he just couldn't be sought to begging. Mm, that was a, a very big challenge, but uh, uh, it's God that gave me the wisdom. Even before I lost my sight, when I went to the hospital, they said I should learn how to use my hand to walk. But before then, God, I've, though I was been doing this work, but I didn't know how to, that I can iron with that thing. Some of his customers, his landlord and neighbors are amazed at his industry and character. Mr. Super is the one that I've been taking care of my clothes and my husband on. So he's a nice man. And he did his job very well. I trust him. He doesn't disappoint. Even if there's no uh, electricity, the generator is there. Once you enter, you give you your clothes without no mistake. I've known Super for some years now. And uh, despite the challenges, I see him. And uh, he has been doing my clothes the way I want it to be done. The color is balanced. The wash it is and it, it dry clean things in iron in, in a very smart way. And um, one thing I so much like about him, when he say Tuesday is Tuesday, when he say four o'clock is four o'clock, anytime he tells you to come and collect your clothes, he delivers. That's why the challenges he's facing. Okay. 70 years, he has been with me here. Now they won't get, get the cataract. Or the second one, the sea. So all of a sudden, the two of them go. 
He tried, tried, me too, I tried, tried, so that I can get people who can open the eye for, her, for him, but nobody. Though loved by all, love went completely blind for Anietie after a while. His long-time lover left him when he could no longer see, but he finds solace in his only child who gives him much more love. The friend came and told her that uh, that friend was staying in one, one country, so either Senegal or Mali. Then I uh, come and tell her that whether she would like to come to that country. That, that she decided to carry the boy and drop the boy, give the boy to the mom, and then she traveled. Even before then, you know, when she traveled, I was still using one eye to see then. I normally go to the village there and see the son, that my son. And if I have something, I will go and give the boy until when the eyes finally see, which I could not see again, that's when I stopped going there. He's a very hardworking man. Since when I came, he's the only one been working and I've been supporting him. I've been trying my best, even since when I came. And I think that I was going to school, after school, and I started working. I will assist him here in the morning, do what I can do. And then I will leave to where I'm working. If I come back, I will still try my best to help him. In a country where the visually impaired are often forced to pound the streets begging for arms, Anietie's case is different. He believes being blind is not a death sentence and that one can fulfill his destiny no matter its condition. Karim Salam, TVC News, Lagos. Absolutely. Very inspiring story there. There is truly ability in disability.